Morning, people. That's Leah. I've just come out to check Leah, Doug. I'm here, look. Eclipse Group. Uh, I'm doing a podcast. They've got a channel on YouTube, Talking Shop. Uh, I've just come out for a break and to check on Leah, Doug, obviously, because he's in here all nice and warm. I can't even check on my dog. Yeah, I'm in here doing a podcast. Don't ask me why. They asked me if they if I'm coming and doing a podcast. And I says, yeah, can do, lads, yeah. May as well do. Uh, obviously, it takes time out of my working week, but still, it's like it's like a bit of a break, isn't it? Uh, yeah, so I'll uh, I'll take you in to meet the guys behind the scenes. We'll have a behind the scenes at this podcast. I'm looking for my keys. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, they're in my pocket. Huh. I'm allowed to do a behind the scenes. I best ask them first, aren't I? <laughs> this is Aaron. Look, how are we doing? He's one of the interviewers. <laughs> I'm not an interviewer. He's a pod. No, what? What, you work uh, for Joe? Podcaster, I suppose, Podcaster yeah. 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 Look how much gear I never knew. Oh, no, I'm recording now, guys. You all right with this? <laughs> yeah. All right? Here we are, and all the gear. No, all the gear? All the gear, look. I can't believe how much gear you need, mate. When I first come That's in, it. I can't believe it. And all well, I've got is a little, little phone lock. just amount of cameras just to say, in case, well, no, sorry, just when I cock up. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the podcast look, guys, here. And that there behind the scenes is Ben Lock. Hi, right, Ben! Hello! See, you don't have to see Ben. I thought I'd catch him on camera. <laughs> I've never seen him, and I've the seen him. The legend. <laughs> ben, you see? He has all the struggles. Right. Look, we're even on... The, well, we're going to be on the board, like. I didn't even realise you had a board. Yeah, we've got the board. We're going to take a photo now, guys, so yes. I'm going to be on the board of fame. And we've got a little printer, a little Polaroid. Oh, is it a little Polaroid it one? Is. Oh, that is good. Print it straight away. You'd have to get a bit close to see who everyone is, actually. Yeah, you know, it's a bit of a bad place here, isn't it, really? Yeah. Is that a light, tattoo tech? Light. It's not quite Hall of Fame. Yeah, truck tech, he's on there and all. Look, yeah. look, here's, here's what, Big Nath. Yeah. Here's what's on his channel a lot. Jamie, Jamie T. I don't know whether I've seen that one. Jamie T, yeah, yeah. She's driving. Tyra, I've seen that one. Who's one. this one here? Is that David? Yeah, Scribble. David, DC European. That's oh, is that the 119? Released today. Ah, yeah. I'll watch that, you see? Yeah. Yeah, I've just done my podcast, guys. we finished it. There was nice there, there was. Really easy going in that. Uh, oh, Lee Hills. Dear Dags out. Right, I've... Uh, Going to go and see Dave now, d &J Projects, because I've got, got to go past Nottingham, uh, back to the yard. So uh, he's got there a Merc, one of his eight-wheelers. The fan has, like, ripped out some wires or something. Uh, he rang me yesterday, about yesterday afternoon, and I said, oh, I'm going to do this podcast, so I'll do it on my way back. So that's where we're going now, to d &J Projects, and let's have a look at his problems. There may be trouble ahead. But as long as there's sunshine and love and romance, let's face the music and Nothing faces me, Daddy. We've arrived here at D&J. I don't know which wagon it is. Uh, I'll go and see Bernie, get the keys. I'll take Leardag as well so he can see his mate. Oh, Leardag. Come on, Leals. It just takes a bit of waking up, don't you, Leals? It's all right once he gets woken up. He's had a busy day. He's had a busy morning. Come on, get motivated. Come on, Lee Dag. <laughs> How long has it been slicing? Two weeks? No, three weeks, it must yeah, be. Yeah, I, I thought to the Grimmore, it's still tight, isn't it? <laughs> oh dear, some pin deals. <laughs> I don't think he's going to get those big. What do you reckon? Yeah. He's getting in his playful mode, lot. People say you don't, you just grumpy all the time, Leo. You're not, yeah, you like pickles, don't you? Pickles? Be nice. Be nice. You can't see how small they are on camera, can you? It doesn't show up the smallness of them. Say bye bye to your mate. Bye, hey, pickles. Come here. Say bye bye. Cheers, darling. You got your bits. Oh, no, I ain't got my bits, have I? What I came here for. And the keys. Right, this is what the problem is with Big Red. That's Big Red there. I know it's not red, it's black, but that's what it's called, Big Red. Because it was red originally. Yeah. This is off the fan. This wire off the fan. Now, it's come loose, got wrapped around the fan and ripped itself to shreds, like, hasn't it? And Dave's been out and purchased these. I've never used these before. Look, look, you, you you wrap your two cables together and then you heat them up and that bit of lead there will melt to make like a solder connection and then the heat shrink around, it'll shrink up. I thought I said to Dave, it's very clever. I've never come across that before. But there we go. So let's get the... Well, first we've got to make the cab safe because he's got some tools in it. So let's, let's make the cab safe. Jack it up. Hard hats, look. They're prone for going through windscreens, they are. You never think that light thing, would you? Put a, a put a, a smash in a windscreen, but it does. Right, we're clear. Ah, oh, tools down there, though. Talk to myself. Can't find them in the passenger seat. Oh. 
I can see why you give me this job, Dave. He said it was in a, a bad place where he couldn't get. Maybe I'll be able to get. Look at it. It's right in the. It's right. Right in no man's land in there. What's that off? Oh, it's Dave took the hose off. Dave must have took it off. Oh, he's took the top hose off, I mean, to get there, obviously. I thought something had blown off then. <laughs> mm. Can you see that? What's that pipe as well coming from there? What's that for? What's that do? I'm going to have to have a in further investigation of this job. Uh, how's this work then? Because that's the crank and that goes around, you see, but that wire has to stay there. So what holds that bracket in? Should it, is it missing, it's missing something here, isn't it? It's, it's something that's gonna drift here because the wire just can't hold it. It's gotta have a bracket holding it. Or else obviously the fan's just gonna go around. Once you start the engine up, the whole thing's going around, the wire and everything. So you can't have the wire plugged in, else it was ripped wire out again, wasn't it? So it's got to have some kind of mounting to hold it into place while while it's going round. The fan's going round on the outside and that's staying in position and then your crank's going round. It doesn't make much sense and I can't really see what it's missing. Mm. Ah. Mm. I'm going to have to have the fan off, you know, because... Uh, that where that goes into on that fan that like hub if you like where the wire goes into that i've just tried to move that and it's solid as oh and i've just moved it a bit it's like so there must be some kind of bearing on in that fan i think because that by the right where that wire attached should be free flowing around so then when the crank goes around it stays in place obviously but it's not it's tight so i'm gonna have to add the fan off Which means, uh, which means, which means, uh, which means everything, which means I'm going to have to have everything off, basically. Which means it's a bigger job than what I think, than what you wouldn't what, what first, first expected. That's what it means. That's what that means, people. Can I get the fan out down below, I wonder? I bet I can, you know. But that's an easier solution. Get it out from down below, Chris. Hmm. I might not even have to have the fan cowling off down below. It looks like there's only a, a bit of a poo cover down there, and then it might drop out. Ha, <laughs> he says. <laughs> uh, and I think what's meant to hold it into place is that pipe, what you see, is meant to be clamped to summit, and that's the thing that holds it, and then the wire gets plugged into that plug there. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's what how it works. So, mm, better ring Dave or Fanta because it needs a new like fan hub. I'll ring up. Yeah, Dave said just go ahead, just get it done because obviously it needs to be back on the road, doesn't it? So whatever you have to do, just do it. So yes, let's uh, let's go downstairs, take the cover off underneath, and see whether we will be able to get that fan out complete from underneath. I'm hoping so. Oh, I don't know, that cowling. Oh, if it's nice. Let's just see. Yeah, we're uh, looking at it. I need the bottom hose off. Uh, two more water hoses off here. This metal cover off here. This cross member out of here. And that out of there. And then I might stand a chance of wiggling that out of there. It means dropping all the water. Uh, but it's no problem because I'm sat in a puddle anyway, so... Uh, what's a bit of water? Uh, and then we might stand off a chance, anyway, I'm open of getting that out. So, yeah. Let's get some tools. Still getting the use out of it, Walter Faber, thank you. Ha-ha! <laughs> bloody good show then, man. Bloody good show, man. Bloody good show, well done, man. Well done.
my phone's about dead. I've just had it on charge, but I was just under there, uh, getting that cover off, that plastic cover off there. And I got it off and there's a load of water in the tray, there must have been. A load of muck and all that lot. And it went straight all on me, side of my face and in my ear hole and all that lot. Uh, and I'm under there and I'm thinking to myself, this freaking job. And then I thought to myself, them lads asked me this morning, they says, uh, why don't you think any uh, young technicians, are, why, why aren't they getting in, into this job? <laughs> and I thought to myself when I was down there, yeah, you know, here's the answer. That's why. <laughs> Who the hell wants to be down there in the mud and the water and the rain? Lot like rain's even come now. Uh, struggling about it again, got some bolts out. Your hands are all numb and that. That's why, lads. Yeah, I've got an answer for it now. I didn't have an answer this morning, but yeah, there's your answer, boys. You come here, look. Come and work in this lot here. Come work in it. Take struggles, get that fan out, that cross member out. Get all pissed sweat through and mud and all that, all in your tub hole. <laughs> There's the answer. You've got to love the job, ain't you? Hey, crazy. You've got to love the job, I'll be crazy. Mm. Which one am I? I've got to put you on charge again because I'm really low on battery life. And my top dom's bloody dead as well. That's on charge. It's such a lovely job. Out in the lovely weather. Ever so easy job. Beautiful. I love it. I love this job. Ah. Let's get under this. At least we're sheltered under there, people. There's always a bright side. Oh, at least we're sheltered, look. Under here. Well, a little bit. We're getting rained on. Well, ah, sleeted on. A little bit, but still. Can't have everything in life. Can't have it all good. Oil cooler. I thought I was fucking water parts. They must be for the gearbox oil cooler. Fuck knows. I'm going to take them off last minute anyway, that cob. I don't want to lose too much oil, you see. Oh, yep. Okay, now. Ah, oh, covered in it again, people. I miss my top down when it's not charged up, look. Uh, yeah, I've took that top. I've took that bracket off there. That's the bracket that holds the pipe and the wire i'll show you the pipe when i get the fan off because it's hard to explain uh and i've got the top fan bolts off so i'm just going to take the bottom ones off now and i've got the bottom hose loose uh i'm just going to take the bottom fan bolts off and hopefully the fan hub will come off from it i'm hoping it's not tight on there because oh dear oh oh it's loose look oh that's good oh Frickin' it in the fan cowling, isn't it? Oh, so annoying that is. What a little floor slot. It's amazing how your head, your neck could ache, you know, just from lifting your, head, your own head weight up. Weird, isn't it? I was hoping to just push that in, look, and then and then lever it down, but of course it's recessed in here, look. So it's still not going to push down, so I still need the fan cowling off, don't I? Oh. Turns into a freaking mission, this does, doesn't it? Hang on, where well, look, there. Take that crank hub off, look. Then, then that crank hub will come out, and then that'll allow the fan to come back here, won't it? <laughs> There's always two ways, isn't there? I think so. Yes, Chris, I like it. 13 mil. Let's do it, .com. Right, now, I just need enough space to get that out then, then I? <laughs> can't get that out now. Oh. oh dear, here we go people. Stuck between a rock and all place here, isn't I? Oh come on Chris, there must be a way man. Not that off though. I thought, I don't know what I thought, but I thought... I'll piss off. It's all... It's all with a bit of peak tongue at the minute. Oh, I'm just looking for an easier option here. I'll have to... I've set the fan cowling off. Chris, you've got to take the fan cowling off. You've made more of a job of it, mate. Just take the fan cowling off. 
<laughs> you reckon? You reckon I'll look of it? <laughs> you reckon I'll look of it, mate? Just, just, uh, I just didn't like the idea of taking this fan car off for some reason. I don't know why. I thought it might be a quicker option. You watch it drop on my head. That big old ball is a on my head. <laughs> Right, I've just took the top clip off the fan carling. If I take these pipes off here, that should all just drop down and open. Ah, that old chestnut again, Chris. You said that before when you just take the bolts out. I know, but this time it should happen. I'm just, uh, I don't want to lose too much fluid out these bloody pipes. Oil, I mean. Yeah, it must have an oil cool cooler as well built into the, built into the wrap. I've never come across it before myself, that. Uh, I want to get covered here, innit? Fuck me, I've been back to take a rocking radio time and time done! <laughs> fucking hell! Piss went through the oil now. I've not only got fucking antifreeze water all over me, I'm getting oil pissed all over me. I wonder why people aren't getting this job. Don't know, fucking don't know. It's an amazing job. <laughs> Here's me saying, oh, I love my job. Yeah, love it. Amazing. It's all just fucking all clustered into one big fucking struggle, isn't it? Fucking hell. I say just drip oil all over now. I'm not fucking bothered. I'm not fucking bothered now. Fuck off, wind now. I'm blowing it into my face now. Right, my other option look. You see them bolts there? They're what hold that hub to this fan here. So just take them bolts out, look. Take them bolts out. And then that hub. Uh, I'm gonna get that hub out there on the inside of there. That fan then will come up here. Uh, and I should be able to get out to this, I? I don't know, but I'm just gonna do them bolts anyway. Only taking the fan off. Jesus. Something's is gonna fall on my head soon, I can see it. Cause I've got that much stuff up here above here. Not hold on about. Uh. Right, I've got that hub off now. There, look. Uh, but I've still got to get out. <laughs> tell you what, it's a big unit, that, you know. I'm just thinking if there's enough space to undo the radiator, man, to push the radiator forward. I can't get the fan cowling off, I can't get the fan out, I can't get the hub out, I can't even get that little hub out. Fucking honestly. Everything's just into fucking twine with one another. Fucking hell, man. Ugh. I feel like just taking the radiator out, you know, I do, seriously. I'd be quicker taking the fucking radiator out, I really would. It's frick all space to do piss on. It looks like there's loads of space, doesn't it? I can't understand it. Because the parts are that big. Oh dear, I can't get pissed all out here. I'm getting stressed here a lot. I'm filthy, I'm fucking oily. Stink of gear oil, it's just dripping all over me. I just have a bath in gear oil. The best thing to do in this situation is to cool down a bit and think. Yeah, look, our, our big D's back now, look, is talking to Chris. Now, Chris is from Every Treat. He's on YouTube, and at the minute, he's laying down doing absolutely fuck all. <laughs> Like and subscribe to this man's channel, guys. Every trade, I'll put it to the top corner there. Right, you're gonna come and get a. You're gonna that put in that corner there. You're gonna come <laughs> and give me some jobs, eh? Yeah, you're gonna give me some work, yeah. Chris. Yeah, I'm gonna break some stuff now because I want to see you what. I what I've done now, I've resorted to now. I've took the mountains, two, two mountain bolts off that radiator on that side, taking these two off here, and hopefully just gonna push that radiator and the intercooler and everything forward a bit. Just so I've got a bit of breathing space so I can get them hubs off, get everything off. Obviously, my battery ain't dead again. Right, that's the last bolt. Dave's still talking business with Chris, you see. These are businessmen here. <laughs> What's then... wrong with you today? <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I don't know what's fucking wrong with me. This I'll fucking thing. God, I've, got, I've had one already because I'd had no dinner and that's burning. I said, can I want my wife? Yeah, she give me a bit of food, yeah. So I, did, I didn't do my advert, like. You're such a nasty bastard today, you are. I'm not a fucking... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Stressed me out, that freaking podcast, God. I'll tell you what I wish they would have done. Got on the podcast. I've, I've come here first, done this job, got all oiled up, got all stressed, then got on the podcast. Won't it? Did you get changed? Yeah. Yeah, you're 
it, it does move a bit look i've got some movement dave look at that moved a bit you might yeah can you be up here a lot and just move in can you see that name yeah, what i'm doing there? yeah i can move that obviously don't go too excessive because yeah i'll get in there and move that because I'm, I'm going to go underneath and hopefully it will just give me enough space to do some wiggling. Nearly out, but it's all. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That fan will go up a bit more, mate. Will it? Yeah. He's on that carlin. That carlin will go up some more. There's that all that. There's the central. There's the first bit out. Right. Right, right. Now I'm hoping the fan will go closer to the engine. I can't even get the freaking fan out for some reason. Alright, let's try and get the car with that then. Right there. Fucking yes! David, we're done! <laughs> We've done it! Yeah. It's, it's just. It's just so emotional. That was a mission that. Uh, I don't know whether I just made it a mission or it's just a mission because that fan cowling don't come out, that nothing comes off one another, man. Right, the problem is, look, that, that centre there, look, is meant to be free running around. Well, it's not, it's tight. Bearing's tight in it. And that there is meant to be attached to, to that there, like that. And that's what holds that while the, the, the thing is going around. I think you do need a complete one, Dave, because look, it's not... You can't take it out, look. You say, that grand they are. Freaking grand, look. That's 700 to a grand. Really, I don't know, so it's this what it is, mate. That's, that's the... Uh, Depressing. That's the game, man. isn't it? Depresses it's me, mate. Yeah, uh, it's the game, mate. You earn money, you lose money. You earn money, you lose money. You work to earn money, then you lose more money. Yeah, look, that lot, feel it, Dave. Feel that lot. That's meant to be free flowing yeah. around. Right, I'll uh, send these pictures to Partick now. On Tinternet's dear. I just rang up Partick, 360 quid plus that. Yeah. So over 400 quid. Coming on Monday. Thank you, Partick. There. <laughs> <laughs> see, I like to give shout outs to my local companies, you see? And now I've got to sort out all these nuts and bolts, David, so I don't lose them all. Dun dun, in the Foster's box, I'm going to put them. You know what day it is today, Dave, don't you? Friday! Yeah, it is! Woo -hoo! Can't go for a party now because I've got to go and get our birdie, Dave. Yeah, it's spring, is it? When? Today? Yeah. Spring has sprung, hasn't it? Yeah, of course it is. Spring has sprung, day is raised. I wonder where the birdies well, is. We've no had rain and we haven't even had April showers yet. I know. Well, we've had one, one, one big shower, haven't we? We've done nothing but shower. Look at these people, man. Oh dear, what's happening here? Someone says cooking in there. Is that my battery? Oh dear. It's not very good, is it? Listen. That's my battery boiling. You smell like the acid. Mm. That means it's it's not stopping its charge. It's not it's carrying it on charge. It's the same way as what was in the little red shed. Little red? Yeah it is. Mmm, Vault. I reckon Vault is a good make. Mmm. Mmm. Right guys, we're gonna pack away our tools and we're gonna go, aren't we Dave? Can you give me a lift out? Possible. You pass mine anyway, don't you? Yeah. Newark. Yeah. Say bye to everyone, David. Have we got fosters on the way back? No, I haven't got any in, in the van whatsoever, unfortunately. We've got a spring now. The spring has sprung. That's how dad's got to do that and all. And first, but, day, first day of spring as well. Hey! <laughs> spring has sprung. <laughs> right, guys, catch up next one. See you later. Woohoo! Like and subscribe to Dave's channel as well. DJ Woo! Projects. Yay! Conquering the world one breakdown at a time.